Hello everyone, this isn't really a picking video, it's more about this lock that I've had a long time. It's a Sergeant and Greenleaf, we used to use these in the military quite a bit. You can change the combination by key, I don't, I don't have a key. I got this one a little bit after I got out of the military, I got out in 1981, and uh... I knew some people while I was working at a rifle and pistol range, and we had a lot of military come through there. And I got to know one guy, and he I traded him for this. What's amazing to me about it is it's a massive lock, but look at that shackle. I mean, it looks pretty tiny. I do have the combination for it. I haven't changed it. Well, I haven't opened it in a while because I don't remember how to do the... I don't know how to do all of the different things. But anyways, um, these are pretty cool little locks. Uh, I'll get around to reading on how to, you know, you go right and then left and then right. And you've got to pass numbers a certain amount of times. But what amazed me about it was this this little, what looked like wimpy shackle. It looked like you could have put like two times as big or three times. Anyways, it's a pretty substantial little lock. Uh, I think the screw back here probably uh, removes and allows you to either remove the shackle or to change the combination with that key that they were talking about, which I don't have a I don't have the key. I don't need to change the combination. I don't really use this. It. More like a a military. I like military padlocks and stuff. And this is like the first one for my set. I've had this for like I said since probably um, 1982 or 3 somewhere around there is when I got this they're pretty nice locks I, I really don't understand the secondary but I think that's when it gets over there you go back like that way to open it I don't know so just a little short video on this key combination changing padlock I don't know if anybody's seen a bunch of these, but they used to use these a lot in the military on secure areas. Well, not really super secure areas, but that's what we used to use. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry I couldn't open it for you right now, but uh, like I said, I, I've got the combination. I just don't remember how to do it. And I don't really need to open it. I mean... I might open it later on and look at the shackle and see if it's got ball bearings in there or something. But there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any other military type padlocks and stuff that you like, uh, let me know about them. I know that um, American Lock did a lot of stuff. They even have master locks, laminated master locks that's stamped that have U.S. on them. So I'll probably be doing that side <coughs> collection of um, military padlocks. Uh, if I get a chance, um, they used to use a lot of these uh, American locks and would have on the back stamped U.S. Uh, or U.S. set and stuff like that. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Sorry I couldn't pick anything right now, but this was just all about this one little padlock. All right. Thank you for watching.